Hey folks, welcome to the 30 Days to Learn Adobe After Effects course. My name is Vincent Nguyen, and today in this lesson, we're going to be discussing layer maps in After Effects. So layer maps are actually very, very simple. Layer maps are layers that are used to control other layers. So think of layer maps as someone as a blueprint or an instruction for After Effects. So let me just demonstrate this real quick. So in this composition here, I just have some footage. I'm going to make a new adjustment layer. And remember that adjustment layers are layers that we can apply effects to and all the effects applied to the adjust adjustment layer is going to ripple down and affect everything underneath this layer. So if I apply an effect to the adjustment layer, it's going to affect everything underneath it, including the footage layer here. So I'm going to call this lens blur and I'm going to apply an effect called lens blur. Drag that into the adjustment layer here. And basically what this effect does is it just blurs out the whole um, composition here in a more realistic way, kind of like a depth of field uh, look, out of focus look within a DSLR camera and such like that. So I'm going to hit repeat edge pixel and that's just going to fix some of these edge problems here. Now the reason why I'm using the lens blur effect is because it has a depth map layer option here and this pretty much what it means is it wants a depth map which is going to serve as the layer map for the blur here so it may sound kind of confusing but pretty much what it's asking is hey do you have a layer that the lens blur effects can use to drive the blur because right now the whole thing is being blurred out what if I only want to blur out a certain section here so that's why it's asking for a depth map layer and this is kind of like a layer map now keep in mind that lens blur isn't the only effect that has a kind of a an optional layer map option there's a lot of effects out there that have the same option for an example trap code particular trap code form on um, the displacement map there are a lot of effects out there that give you the option to use a layer map to control the effect and it'll be very very useful as you progress and you create uh, more advanced projects and use more advanced effects so to show you guys what layer maps do, I'm going to create a very basic fake depth map, otherwise a layer map for this lens blur effect. And if you don't know what a depth map is, it's pretty much just a kind of a layer map rendered from a 3D application such as Cinema 4D and 3ds Max to tell the lens blur effect where is it going to be blurred and where is it not going to be blurred. And we can control the depth map channel over here to luminance. So luminance is the brightness or the white areas of the map. And we're going to use that to drive our blur here. So I'm going to create a new layer, solid. And I'm going to call this one layer map. And we're going to use this black layer here to control our lens blur. So I'm going to apply a ramp effect to this. Search in ramp, drag a ramp effect onto the new layer here. All right, so remember before our lens blur map is set to luminance channel. That means whatever is white, which is the luminance, is going to be blurred, and whatever is not white is not going to be blurred. So right here, looking at this layer map, the black areas, which is the top here, is not going to be blurred, and the white areas here are going to be blurred. So let me just adjust this a little bit. Let me go ahead and set the black areas to right here. And then I'll set the white areas something like this. All right. So we'll go back into the lens blur and we'll change the depth map layer to our layer map. And we can shut off our layer map because we're not, we don't actually need to see our layer map. Remember, layer maps are just layers to control other layers. So we don't really need to see it. It's just going to use the input data from it, but we don't need to see it. And as you can see, nothing happens. And why is that? Now, this is a clear example of why pre comping or pre composing layers are very, very helpful because even though we selected the layer map layer as our layer map, it's not taking the ramp effect into consideration here. We need to flatten things out. See, the lens blur right now is looking for the depth map layer, which is this black solid. That's all it's seeing. All it's seeing is a black solid. It's not seeing the ramp effect. It's kind of ignoring all the effects because it's just looking straight, straightly at the layer here. So if we flatten it, we can go select our layer map, go to layer precompose. And here are the two options again. Leave all attributes into the main comp which means, let me, let me just do this for an example, let me just erase the name here. And as you can see, the ramp effect is applied to our layer map composition. It didn't get moved into the layer map composition, it got excluded. 
So that's what leave attributes means. It means it's going to leave out the attributes and keep it in the main comp, which is in this comp right here. But we don't want this. Remember, we want to flatten the layer with the effect. So let me just undo that. And let's do this again. Select our layer here. Go to pre-compose. And then click on move all attributes into the new composition, which means we're not going to leave the ramp effect out this time. We're actually going to bring the ramp effect into the new composition. So everything's going to be flattened as one flat layer. We'll call this layer map. So now, as you can see, the layer map doesn't have the effect applied to it anymore. It's actually inside the composition here. So we have a very separate composition with the layer maps and the ramp effect applied. And back into our main comp, everything's nice and flat. As you can see, everything's just compressed into this one uh, layer right here, this composition layer. So we just flattened things out. And now you can see that our lens blur effect is taking the layer map composition. And as you can see, we have a blurred area down here and we have a clear area up here that just matches our uh, map here. It may not be too obvious right now, but let me just crank up the radius. And you can really, really see that it's really blurred down here and it's not really blurred up here. And if I just go ahead and dock two composition panels together, so let me just go back into the layer map composition, click down here and click on new comp viewer. It's going to create two comps viewers here. Go back into the main comp. We'll lock this one right here. Go back into the main comp. We'll drag this one out. Put it to the side. So now we see our main comp. And then we see our layer map composition. And this is how I'm going to show you how each layer affects each other. So as you can see, in the layer maps, if we play around with the ramp, we'll move the black down a little bit. You can see how it affects. The black areas are going to be non-effective. So as you can see, crystal clear. And the white areas are going to be blurred, as you see here. So we're essentially just using one layer to control another layer. And when you do that, you, you need to make sure that you're flattening things out and you're rasterizing or grouping things together or pre-composing things together so that the layer maps work just fine. And but we're pretty much just using one layer to control another layer, or should I say, effect. So this has just been a really rough overview of layer maps within After Effects. In the next lesson, we're going to be talking about track mats, which will work kind of the same thing. We're going to be using one layer to control another layer, but we're going to be using it a little bit differently. So that's it for this lesson, guys. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a message in the forums, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Once again, guys, my name is Vincent Wynn. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye, guys.